Hi, good day everyone. So welcome to my tea distribution question and answer video. I only have one question here uh, because it's technically uh, not that hard to do tea test based on our uh, lecture notes. Right? If you go online, you might see countless ways to calculate T0 or T test. Um, uh, but, the, uh, but behind the scene, the mathematical uh, method are pretty much the same. You only find T0, sometimes they have different names, sometimes they're called sample tests. I just like to call it T test. Let's be objective, we are ingenious. Right, so what you're looking here is your uh, it's a slide for T distribution. Uh, question and answer let's go straight to the question now again again sorry i'm using a similar question uh, uh, from the exact test i'm still asking about cnc machine of iphone 6 unibody aluminium and uh, this time around so let's give a blue pen there i want it to see the quality engineering department suspect that the uh, machines are completing the process at different net time in seconds in this time i don't want h0 accepted i want h1 to be accepted so let's do the calculation and see if these two machines are producing different results okay i'm still using 95 percent acceptance levels or five percent are significant level you need to do the appropriate statistical analysis since these two are not given. Therefore, you need to find S2 and S. This is a T test. All right, let's go. You have forty. Uh, sorry, you have forty datas. 40 data, both from CNC1 and CNC2. This is one of the test questions. Why is it long? Because it's a test question. Okay. Now, I have the answer on the third slide. It's in Excel form and a blank slide here. So, I just want to, uh, you know, uh, put some notes here. So, what should you do? Okay. Step 1. These two not... Given, therefore, calculated. All right, S two, step two, averages. Step three, right, S one squared, and. S to square calculation, right, and then S four S P square calculation. Why do I need uh, S P square calculation? Cal sorry, collation because red pen note. Confident. Interval uses SP, right? Uh, of course, you can put all the S1, S2 in the confidence interval, but I'll just write here because majority of you will, will going to use SP. If not, then you just put your S squared 1 and 2 inside the uh, confidence interval and do what needs to be done. All right, so the first one is to find the average, right? Let's go back to here, find the average. So the average for machine one is 4.85 and machine two is 4.05. So then you need to find the sum of square. Now sum of square, I'm just right here. For example, yeah, S1 squared. The first number is four. So four minus what was it again? 485 squared plus 4 again plus again 4 
right and until the end you have what was it four four again four okay this whole thing is 20 minus one oh give me right for s2 what's the first number four five four 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 five four four point oh five squared give me a moment yeah plus five What's the third number? Six. Let's just take the final number. Six as well. And this whole thing is 20 minus one. What you get will be this one, uh, four point three four, and this one is three point three one. Right, S squared. So after that, these two numbers we put on the this one. Uh, where is it? Total variance. So I just put the total variance. So this total variance, you have your S P squared equals to N one S one squared N two S two squared N one N two minus two. Okay, so you have your S P squared right and from there you have your total variance which is this one you can square root it this one is sp sp to above to below somebody asked me about this this is a ratio so here is actually y1 bar y2 bar sp 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 right so this is above this is below all right so you have t0 uh, and this one is a variance you see variance variance and then you have your answer is 1.29 so we have a uh, mm, degree of freedom is eight uh, 20 sorry 20 plus 20 minus 2 38 right 38 at 5 percent and you get this 2.02 .02. And because of that, 2.021 is bigger than 1.29. That's why we accept H0. What does it mean by that? So it means, write this. At the same time. Then you should write also the first assumption. It's not true. Done. Then from there you put your you use your confidence interval, which is y bar one minus y bar two minus 
T alpha divided by 2 which is 2 tail test and SP and you have 1 over N1 1 over N2 mu 1 mu 2 blah 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 for the right side so I just maybe I just should write the whole thing lah y bar 1 y bar 2 plus t alpha divided by 2 sp1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 squared okay so you have this that means you have a negative a positive 0 in between therefore true h0 is accepted what's the range so you will have you will see here range from negative 0 0.08 second second to 1 1.68 second between between the two machines very simple that's all thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video. Bye.